Hello everyone, welcome to Cup Curves Code in class, and welcome to part, what is it, part four of the JavaScript HTML beginner make a generic clicker game tutorial series. In this video, we're going to go from last week where we had upgrades, but, you know, you had to do it from the console, yuck. Now you can buy them with buttons. There's not a price system yet, but you, you can get a lot of generics. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Welcome back. Pop open your editor, as you should have already done. I should have done this when I started recording, but I was a small brain and didn't do it. And here is our code. It got automatically updated. That's great. I don't care. Actually, I like to read these things, but I don't have time right now. I'll do it later. And the first thing we are going to do is we're going to change this again, this line. Clicker thing plus plus inside of thing clicked. It's actually going to be clicker dot upgrades thing in square brackets dot amount plus plus and then we're going to call a new function that doesn't exist yet but we'll call it here just for the sake of it update underscore upgrades open parentheses close parentheses this function doesn't exist yet we're gonna make it in a couple minutes but we have to fix a couple things yet so now this button doesn't do the right thing so luckily we can just add directly to the variable from this button so clicker dot generics plus plus and that should still work that's great now let's make upgrade I mean update upgrades function update upgrades open parentheses close parentheses we don't need any values to be passed to it and then inside of here we're going to make a, oh wait, first we're going to do document dot query selector, open parentheses and open quotes, hash upgrades to get the element with the ID upgrades and then dot inner HTML with a capital HTML equals open and close quotes, nothing. You just have to do that to clear out that element. And then down here, we're going to make a div called upgrades. So div ID equals upgrades. It auto completes for us. It's very nice. You don't need to put anything in it because we're going to be doing that using this function. Yay! I love updating upgrades for the function. That's what you're saying right now. OK, so make a for loop for open parentheses i in clicker dot upgrades dot upgrades open curly brackets and now whoops document dot get element by id open parentheses oh oops well you can do it this way too but i would recommend using query selector instead so you can get an element by its ID by just going upgrades like this and this right here does the exact same thing as this there's no difference but you should just use query selector I've gotten into the bad habit of using element by ID dot query selector hashtag upgrades dot inner HTML again dot inner HTML plus equals so we're adding to it and then don't use these quotes don't use these quotes no 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 we're gonna use these quotes which the editor does not automatically close these quotes which are right underneath the escape key right under right on the tilde key if you don't hold shift on a US keyboard they're like diagonal you can see them here. You can probably find them on your keyboard pretty easily. Anyway, open and close those quotes. We're going to use these quotes because it lets us insert variables more easily, which we haven't yet had to do. Like we inserted a variable here, but like this was easy. We're going to have to insert like 10 variables in a second, so it's easier. Now, 
we start by making a BR tag, which, in case you didn't know, is a line break in HTML. So it's like pressing enter, kind of. And then we're going to, oops, make a button tag. Button. Another nice thing about these quotes is that they let you press enter and they still count. Whereas regular quotes in JavaScript don't let you do that. It's kind of like having three quotation marks in a row, like in, in Python. Basically the same, similar idea. Okay, and then we're going to give the button the on click event, on click equals, and then in regular quotes, and you can use regular quotes without backslashes in here, also very nice, thing underscore clicked, open parentheses, and then we're going to do something interesting. Wait, we're going to open these quotes now, the other quotes that you didn't open over here that are not these, by the way. And then we're gonna press the dollar sign key. And then we're gonna press the curly bracket key and open and close it. And that lets us insert regular old JavaScript, like a variable, for example. So we can use i, that's what we're gonna use. And what that does is it inserts i into here automatically, which is going to be the name of the upgrade. And then inside of it, we're going to put another dollar sign thingy. We're going to do dollar sign, curly brackets, clicker, dot upgrades, open square brackets, I, close square brackets, dot name. And then you can close the curly brackets and that it puts the name inside the button tag and I'm just gonna do alt Z here so that my code wraps around I hate it when it goes off screen it's annoying great so it does that adds the name now we can close the button tag slash button and then we're gonna do you have oh space after the button so there's a space in between you tab and then another dollar sign thingy oops that was an and dollar sign brackets clicker ah, clicker dot upgrades square brackets i close square brackets dot amount and that'll tell you how many you have great that should do it yep that's that semicolon at the end of the line don't forget to do that even though you don't technically have to but you should definitely do it great so now it'll upgrade it'll update the upgrades but we need to it'll it'll update the upgrades when you click on one of them but it should also update them at the beginning of the game so at the beginning of update count before the set interval because we don't want to do this every 20th of a second we want to do it you know one time at the beginning of the game, we'll do update upgrades, open parentheses, close parentheses. And then it will update the upgrades every time you click one and at the beginning of the game. Great. Hit go live. And close the default tab here. And we have zero generics. Let's, let's get some generics. Great. This still works. And let's buy a generic machine. Something's not working. Let's have a look at the console. We are missing a parentheses after the argument list. So you see thing clicked here? Just forgot to close the parentheses after these single quotes. Close them if you made that same mistake. Otherwise, you should be good. Go back to the browser. And now, let's buy some generics. OK, let's get a generic machine. Let's get some more. Oh yeah, more generic machines. More, more. Okay, this is boring. We only have one upgrade. Let's go make another one. Luckily, because of the way we've built this game, it's super easy. You can just grab all of this generic machine code here, add a comma at the end, press enter, and paste it, and then you can just change all of these values. So like generic machine, let's make it a generic factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generic, generic underscore factory. Oh, yeah. 
and we're gonna tab that so it's that and then not generic machines no generic factories and and generics per second one no more like generics per second 10 and cost 10 that's too cheap let's make them cost 20 even though right now that doesn't work yeah now go back to the game and generic machines oh yeah oh yeah take that take that generic factories ha look at how many generics i have i've got so many generics super great wow this is amazing that's it for this week stay tuned next week because next week we're going to add a cost system and we're going to add a save game which means if you close the tab and open it or reload it or something it'll still keep your save your your game saved technically it won't save forever there's a limit of approximately 200 years but you're probably not going to live 200 years and your computer's probably not going to survive 200 years so i'd say that's pretty good see you next week